Hey, how we doing? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play, and Overwatch 2 is being absolutely destroyed on Steam. And now we have this, like, little cover-up here trying to say that it's immediately review-bombed. No, this game is getting rightfully blasted. The whole reason this game was supposed to exist in the first place was we were promised PvE content, a lot of PvE content, replayable missions with hero trees that were going to add even more replayability to all these missions. You're going to be able to do it with the characters and then upgrade the characters. There was a lot you would have been able to do and it convinced a lot of people that yeah, Overwatch was making a big comeback after years of little to no and extremely disappointing updates. People held on to nothing for three years for Overwatch 2 only for the game to ending up being a monetization update. It, instead, they took out the loot boxes. Don't get me wrong, loot boxes are trash, but they replaced it with a terrible battle pass system that was incredibly grindy. There was people out there that were crunching the numbers and figuring out how long it was going to take to get every skin in this game and how much it was going to cost, and it was ridiculous. Every single other game that was selling skins and battle passes and all that all ended up working out to being cheaper than Overwatch 2, believe that or not, because fuck me, this game was expensive and extremely grindy. And a lot of the updates that people were looking forward to just never came. And then, of course, there was the infamous live stream where they got on the stream and said, we are significantly scaling back all the PvE content which we originally promised. And then recently, they tried to hype everyone up again with John Cena promoting the significantly scaled back PvE updates. So no, the game is not being review bombed now that it is on Steam. It is being reviewed by a bunch of pissed off players that will lie to for three years. That's not review bombing in my opinion. Anyway, more than 25,000 overwhelmingly negative user reviews have already been submitted. So Overwatch 2 has been released on Steam and has immediately been met with a large number of negative reviews. At the time of this writing, 15 hours have passed and the Overwatch 2 Steam page now has more than 25,000 reviews on which Steam say are overwhelmingly negative. I dare say by now, they are way, way more than 25,000. It's probably doubled. So Steam stats say that only around 14% of the users submitted reviews are positive and many players are taking opportunity to criticize the game's free-to-play structure and ditching its much hyped up hero missions. You know what? Let's have a look here. So here's Overwatch 2. Six, close to 65,000 reviews. Overwhelmingly negative. 10% say this game's positive. It is being torn to shreds and rightfully fucking so, man. Overwhelmingly negative. You know what? A whole lot of these comments are actually just saying how the porn saved this game. And you know what? That's actually true. <laughs> this game was very much saved by uh, the adult content that is out there, which they tried to crack down on, which didn't exactly work for them, though, did it? So Overwatch 2 is the first selection of games of Blizzard Entertainment plans to release on Steam. Players will still need to connect their Battle.net account in order to play the game, as is the, as is the case on all platforms, which Blizzard says enables features like crossplay. So Overwatch's latest season also started on Thursday, adding the game's first three story missions. Now, remember these story missions, you had to pay in order to keep them. $15 and you could keep the story missions and replay them. What a fucking joke. So with all that said, it's very easy to see why this game is being reviewed overwhelmingly negative and no, it is not being review bombed. It's getting the review that it deserves. So you tell me how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com and I'll see you all in the next video.